document also it is in uh, partially completed just go through <clears throat> Uh, we have put this standard, uh, this template from the template itself, okay. deliverables of the template, as I had, and uh, we considered SAP S4 HANA version 1909, and along with the Fiori, they need like the uh, draft uh, phase. We'll put some name. And the review and approval matrix here, procurement manager and procurement director. So here is the contents uh, uh, under the service procurement, whatever contents we have finalized the content along with the team. Today, just before the call, we had uh, we had a discussion. Uh, we four five people we had a discussion on it, and we finalized uh, some contents here. Uh, according to content, we have started putting the data like service procurement, what all overview, service master data, uh, purchase requisition. Uh, this uh, sorry, this source determination will not be there. Uh, RFQ, quotation, evaluation, purchase order. So good service sheet is nothing but service entry sheet will be uh, covered under this. There will be invoice verification and payment. So for each and every uh, steps, we are referring the scope document, uh, like what client is expecting under uh, each process. Like for, uh, they want invoice parking before the service entry, uh, after service entry creation. So we'll put that MIR, Seven that process. One minute, please. Uh, sorry. So we'll be putting. Uh, we'll go through the scope document and the our BPML uh, list, and accordingly we'll update this. And tomorrow, uh, this is still under the uh, partially completed or draft phase. Tomorrow we are expecting it to be uh, completed. Uh, I'm preparing the to be process flow still I'm preparing. So it is there available, ready and available under fit gap, but uh, I'm still uh, expecting some corrections there. So once it is uh, corrected, I will put uh, to be process flow here. <clears throat> and like steps, uh, to be process flow steps, these are high level steps. Uh, to be process flow diagram will be the complete uh, uh, process uh, complete steps and these are the uh, requisitions process and the requisitions uh, required um, the t codes required we have uh, mentioned over here up to the vendor payment so the, what we'll be doing will be completing we'll be considering complete p2p cycle for each process subcontracting service procurement uh, intra company <coughs> intra company sto will be there and also we will be preparing uh, info record uh, uh, process also will be covering a uh, separate document for BBP. And we just uh, came up to here. Uh, now further we have to go and edit and uh, put as per the requirement. So this is what we have done. And by tomorrow uh, we can present the final document. Okay. So since we are preparing first time, so it is taking uh, it is taking more time for us. Uh, we are uh, we are searching for the text here and there online on Google, uh, different different documents. We are uh, we are searching in SAP notes also, like for for one process drop shipping. I already got one process on SAP notes, third party process, uh, which we discussed earlier in earlier classes. So we'll be preparing the BBP on drop shipping also third party process. So like this, we are searching the contents and we are uh, editing the uh, BBP document. So anybody from MM side want to uh, want to mention anything? No, but OK. OK, so here like uh, the KDS. KDS what like uh, what are the different type of purchase requisition, different type of RFQ, uh -huh. different type of contract. Uh -huh. So this KDS document also has to be okay. Uh, yeah, prepared simultaneously. Fine, so, fine. Yeah, I'll, yes. I'll note it. Yes, yes.
and even material type also what are the material types what are the business oh, partner no. right so these are all the kds parts mm. so we need to get ready okay so in service procurement uh, shall we maintain uh, because it is uh, we are going to delete this material part mm -hmm. so in service procurement uh, we will prepare yeah. this exclusively for service services yeah. uh, any material requirement yes, under service uh, uh, material will not be there but service master uh -huh. is there you can use service master uh -huh. so what are the okay. different type of service category so based on the we can uh -huh. classify the you know uh, gl posting also right so we have the evaluation right. class so that can be service to master be. Yes, yes. And contract will be there also. Yes, yes. Contract will be there. PR, PO, uh -huh. contract, RFQ process. Uh -huh. These documents. The prerequisites type. for creating the services, service uh, PO, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is approval process also, right? Right. So right. when we are going to approve the PR, RFQ, contract, <laughs> and purchase order, and even the service right, entry right. also, we have approval process. So you know, generally we will go with uh, you know let's say uh, there are three different type of approvals like uh, less than ten thousand you know SIR right. ten thousand to two forty thousand SIR and uh, greater than two forty thousand SIR. So like that we have three. Uh -huh. uh, There'll be ranges, okay. Approvals uh -huh. and we will provide based on the department who are you know where to approve. So those details we will discuss, but keep updates this information. Okay. And mention that uh, you know the poor details to be uh, you know uh, collect from uh, this area. Yeah. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll update it. Sure. Okay. Uh, thank you, Danish, for yeah. the inputs. Thank you.